Thank you for M6. Matt Selt to break. Now, how's Matt Selk going to come back from the way that he lost the previous frame? It's very difficult to put things out of your mind at snooker sometimes. Get your concentration together. That's a terrible shot. So maybe he hasn't got his, uh, his head together. That was a very poor safety. Seems to have lost his direction a little bit. Sixteen. Great opportunity, all from that very poor safety shot from Matt Selt. He's, 17. I think, seen his opportunity in this match. Thirty-two. If he's straight enough, he can play the run-through shot onto the black again. Yeah, it's fairly straight. Just a slight deflection from that on the way through, which is what he played. Forty-eight. Well, not bad. Just uh, what's he looking at here? He's just looking at what's going to happen after he got pots the next red and black. 
following the black, where's his next red going to come from? Well, the two reds on the right of the cue ball and above it, they're both tot either in the right corner or the left middle. So that's uh, good for starters. Forty-nine. There you see those two reds potable to the middle pocket. There is fifty-six. It's backup reds. I think he might have tried to. Play on the five or the bottom red of the five in the pack, but these are there. Fifty-seven. Well, this time he's left an angle on the black. Now then, this is absolutely perfect. Sixty-four. Uh, has he gone too far on this? No, it's not bad. 72. So, nine reds and nine blacks. This is also natural to run through. Uh, I've not played it very well. quite good far enough at least from his perspective that should be enough to win in the frame he's got to play a good shot here to continue oh wow what a shot now that there is a chance now of uh, a 147 here 80 because that shot has really turned things around 81. Problem there would, would only be those two reds close together. They might not be very easy to get on. 88. Do here, will he play to cannon the two reds? It might be an idea. Yeah, I think that's a, an excellent choice of shot, and it's not bad at all. Wow, what a chance this is. I think it was the only way he could have continued the break to take the chance there. And that's not bad as well. Absolutely right behind it, but okay. This cue ball needs to run and run and run. Has he gone far enough? 104. He's quickly round, purposefully. So I'd say that, yep, he can get through. He can get through to this. Well, this is a wonderful chance. Even if he finishes short on the red, he can go up and down. Just needs to make sure that he doesn't get snookered behind the blue if he goes... Over on the right of the table. Oh, that's perfect. That's another great shot. The way that he's made this break has been absolutely superb. 112. Now, all he wants here is an angle on the black. Which he seems to have. That looks A1. One cushion directly up the right-hand side of the pink. Up onto the right hand side of the table. Just got to make sure he misses the pink with this. Oh wow. Again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Good luck to Marco Fu here. Because up until now, he's made these in supreme style. 
122. Well, I tell you, that was not played very confidently. A little rueful smile from, from Marco. He just went across the face of that. And he seems to be feeling the pressure here. He's done it before. 129. Wrong side of the blue, but with an angle to get up and down. Pink is not actually on its spot, but... As near as you'll ever get under these circumstances. And that is perfectly played once again. So just this for a 147. And what a break this has been. Marvellous, absolutely marvellous for Marco Fu. That's a 147. The match isn't over. The handshakes are <coughs> in congratulation for Marco Fu. Fantastic break of 147. Delighted with that. That was a fantastic 147 break. And it is the first of. 2012. Saw so a lot of them at the end of 2011. That was a very special.